what is the first data a bar of 30 mm diameter already you know the diameter symbol t d is 30 mm okay fine what is the next the thing as there is subject to a pull pull is nothing but load we are pulling the component so that low capital letter p for load so p equal to 60 kilo newton okay fine and then the measured extension on gauge length of 200 mm is 0.09 mm i'll repeat the sentence men listen properly the measured extension on gauge length of 200 mm is 0.09 mm so what is mean by that one gauge length is nothing but original length of the body that is l is 200 mm so when l is 200 mm that time measured extension length what is mean by extension change in length am i correct your doubt ask me measured extension on gauge length on the original length gauge length is nothing but ma and normally suppose one steel rod is there how do you measure by the help of some instrument like a vernier caliper scale micrometer like that so these are called gauge okay so when you are using the gauge that time length is 200 that time suppose you are measuring the changing length the extension length that is 0.09 yeah ma so exam time you have to understand the word properly that is very important for the problem next one the change in diameter is they are given the diameter also till now i think last problem i given the diameter change in diameter also here also they given change in diameter uh, change in diameter we won't use dd we are using del no because dd mean d squared no so i don't want to use del d what is that value del d equal to 0.0039 mm that is del d calculate the requirement what we have to find first one as uh poisson ratio already you know the poisson ratio symbol 1 divided by r yeah. poisson ratio okay fine what is the next one and that values of three moduli what is three moduli bulk modulus yang's modulus rigidity modulus so rigidity modulus uh, yang's modulus capital letter g e. rigidity modulus capital letter c we are using c only no and then bulk modulus k so we know the given data parallelly we know the requirement so now easily we can solve the solution because we know the formula So, what are the things we have to find? First one is Poisson ratio. Exam time also you have to try. Offline exam means you have to try like Poisson ratio. What is the Poisson ratio? Lateral strain, lateral strain divided by divided by linear strain. linear strain okay fine so what is the formula for uh, lateral strain lateral strain formula was i can give that uh, shall i write e l e l uh, e uh, sorry e d diameter is there e d we can write and then linear strain shall i write e l here so here ma uh, lateral strain formula what is the lateral strain formula delta d divided by d am i correct linear strain formula delta dl by l or delta l by l water maybe that is your interest delta l divided by l okay so now here i can substitute directly 
you can understand also delta d value is 0. Point. It's available in the given data. Just take it to the top side. 0.39 divided by d. D is 30 mm. Okay. So everything we know that one. And then dl by yeah, dl is delta l or dl whatever maybe. Dl is nothing but delta l. That is nothing but 0.09. Suppose you have calculator, just calculate. I'll give the value also because I cannot able to wait more time. So I'll give the answer, but cross check my answer whether my answer is correct or wrong. So L is two hundred. So what is the answer for this one? One by M equal to the answer. This I'll check my my answer book answer. Hmm. Point two eight eight. Suppose your calculator check it, ma'am, whether it's correct or wrong. Correct, sir. Correct, no. So one by m value is one by m value Poisson ratio value is point two eight eight. Okay, fine. What is the next thing? What is the next requirement? Young's model. That is capital letter E. So, what is the Young's modulus formula? Young's modulus formula. Already you know that stress one. Stress. stress divided by strain. So, sigma divided by E. What is sigma? Capital letter P. Load by area. E load by area. P by E. What is area formula? What is area formula, ma? Tell that one. Diameter is that pi by four? D square, sir. D square. So here you are using E, no strain, no. That is linear strain, E L. E L is nothing but delta L divided by L. Delta L divided by L. Delta L divided by L. So here, capital letter P value was capital letter P value was uh, how much, ma'am? Sixty kilonewton. We have to convert into newton. Sixty into ten to the power three newton. So sixteen into ten to the power three divided by pi by four d square d is thirty, no? Am I correct? Thirty m, yeah, thirty m. So thirty square. So whole divided by t l by l. Already we know that one point zero nine. Divided by two hundred. Original length is two hundred. So, what is the answer for this step? Anybody calculate? One double eight six two eight, sir. One double eight. Ah, uh, six two eight, ama. Six to eight point zero eight. I got one double eight six seven something. I think better to check it six seven something. I got one one eighty eight point six seven. What you got? That is a different thing. Into ten to the power three. Newton per mm square. Otherwise, one point eight eight six seven. You got six two, wa? Wow. Check it the value whether my answer is correct or yes. wrong. Ten to the power five newton per mm square. That is capital letter E. Others also check it, ma. Whether my answer is correct or wrong. You have to tell. Okay, 
so that is young's modulus then what is the remaining thing is there already we know poisson ratio young's modulus next remaining thing was two thing is there that is one is of um, rigidity modulus another one is bulk modulus so how do you find the rigidity modulus that time only what we have to use we have to use last class relations last class i given some relations no so what relations i given check it your class notes that time i given 1 by yeah poisson ratio equal to yang's modulus that is e minus 2c two times of rigidity modulus divided by 2c okay so now already we know that uh, poisson ratio poisson ratio value is 0.288 that is equal to yang's modulus that is 1.8867 into 10 to the power 5 minus 2c because we don't know the c that is we have to our requirement we have to find 2c so what we have to do we have to do one thing i will tell you how do you simplify that one suppose you know no you can do because just like that we cannot able to find uh, this value so what we have to do to see better take in the left hand side numerator mark so to see multiply with 0.288 that is equal to 1.8867 into 10 to the power 5 minus 2c am i correct i can take the 2c in the left hand side now. so a uh, point 288 into 2 how much more point 5 how much more point 288 into 2 ma anyone give the answer ma point 576 Point five seven six sama. Okay, fine. Point five seven six plus two c. I can move the two c in the left hand side. So that is equal to one point eight eight six seven into ten to the power five. And then c is a common term here. I can take the common term outside now. So c equal to point five seven six point five seven six plus Two, that is equal to one point eight eight six seven into ten to the power five. Okay. So C equal to one point eight eight six seven into ten to the power five divided by two point five seven six. Because point five seven six plus two, two point five seven six. So what is C value? Seven three triple two. Seven three triple two, ma. Okay, no problem. Triple two. I got one nine zero. Okay, no problem. Triple two newton per mm square. So next to one is ma. We want to find bulk modulus. What is the formula? Last class check it. I given one formula no. 1 by m equal to 3k minus k divided by 6k. Am I correct? So here, what is 1 by m? As usual, we know that value 0.288 Poisson ratio. 3k value that only we have to find. Young's modulus value 1.88. I given 6 or 7. Ah. Six seven into ten to the power six two. Na no problem. Leave it. You can write your value. Ten to the power five divided by six k. So so just my cross multiply that one. Point two eight eight into six k. One point eight eight into six seven into ten to the power five. Okay, fine. And then. Uh, I can take the three k also in the left hand side, ma. Now tell point two eight eight into six. How much, ma? Any idea? One point seven two eight. One point seven two eight. Seven two eight k 
minus 3k i am taking the 3k in the left hand side mark minus 1.8867 into 10 to the power 5 so now you can see that one uh, k is a common so i can take k common outside i can take outside uh, 1.728 minus you can get minus answer i think 728 minus 3 that is equal to minus 1.88667 into 10 to the power 5 so k equal to minus 1.8867 into 10 to the power 5 are uh, divided by that term uh, 1.728 728 minus 3 minus 3 so now what is answer ma 148 286 148 286 point 16 286 ah okay 286 end up out of uh, 148 there is no meaning of point so newton per mm square almost answer is correct ma equal to book answer almost okay so this is the bulk model so like that problem you have to solve ma 